Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the glass tile filter inside of the GIMP and then I'm going to show you how to use the results from that filter to do a simple animation and create a small GIF file. The glass tile filter is in the artistic group right here. It's a simple filter with just a few adjustments that you can make. You can adjust the tile width, the tile height, you can link the tile width and height together, and then you can also use the many blending mode options available inside of the GIMP. In order to demonstrate how to create an animated GIF, I created this file that has the glass tile filter applied with different tile sizes um, in different layers. One thing that you can do is you can specify how long a frame is shown for. So for example, I put the, the first glass tile for 500 milliseconds, the second for 750 milliseconds, and so on. You can control how long each one's shown. Um, the thing that you do is just put it as part of the layer's name with parentheses around it and then say the length of time and then MS for milliseconds. The next thing you do is you go in the filters down to the animation tab and you optimize for GIF. And what this does is it creates a second file that has the same layers, but they have changed the colors in order to optimize it for the GIF. GIF has certain restrictions on file sizes and shapes and so forth. And so they, they optimize it for the GIF to check and see how your animation will look, you can come to the, again, Filters Animation Playback, and you press the little play, little blue play button in the corner, and that will run through your animation. When you want it to stop, you just click up there, if it's ready to roll, then you can come, you go to the file, export as. Um, you're going to give it a file name, red commune. And then you go over, you can do, two, you can tell it's a GIF file two ways. One is the simplest is simply just type in 
GIF as the file name. You can also come and select file type by extension down here and go to GIF image. Um, once you've selected and you make sure that your extension is GIF.GIF, press export. It's important to click this as animation box. Um, as you can see, there are some choices. You can give it a comment. You can tell it to loop forever. I'm actually going to unloop it forever. Um, the default where you don't type in the number of milliseconds would be 100, but you can also change that. You can have it be any number you want it to be. Um, you can tell it that you want to accumulate the layers. You can tell it that you want one frame per layer where you replace it. Um, um, with this one, I don't think it matters. So then you just click export. It takes a little bit of time because it's creating the animation. Then you can take a look at the file you created. So that's a very simple way to create a GIF file. Um, pretty straightforward, and uh, maybe you can have some fun with that. Take care. Bye.